A star and the Academy are responding after Oscars backlash, but first, the acting world is saying goodbye to one of their own. American Horror Story freak show actor Ben Wolf died last night following a serious head injury after he was struck by a car last week. The incident happened in Hollywood when the 4 foot 4 actor was crossing the street mid block. Wolf played Meep on the hit FX show. As Bobby Christina Brown remains on life support in hospital, her boyfriend Nick Gordon is publicly venting about her father's motives. Gordon claims in a series of tweets that Bobby Brown has only seen his daughter four times in the last five years. Gordon says Brown now wants the money left to Bobby Christina when her mother, Whitney Houston, died. Gordon calls Brown a, quote, joke played out, saying he is at his daughter's bedside for publicity. While Meryl Streep and J-Lo were loving Patricia Arquette's now famous comments on wage equality during Sunday's Oscar ceremony, her comments backstage were not so well received. It's time for all the women in America and all the men that love women and all the gay people and all the people of color that we've all fought for to fight for us now. After being called tone deaf on race and LGBTQ issues, the Best Supporting Actress took to Twitter to clarify, writing, Wage equality will help all women of all races in America. It will also help their children and society. I have long been an advocate for the rights of the LGBT community. The question is, why aren't you an advocate for the equality for all women? Guess which women are the most negatively affected in wage inequality? Women of color. Women stand together in this. Meanwhile, Melissa Rivers is speaking out after Twitter outrage over her mother Joan Rivers being left out of the Oscars in memoriam tribute. On Facebook, she wrote in part, it would have been nice, especially considering the impact she had on the awards season. However, the Academy has defended the snub, stating Joan Rivers is among the many worthy artists we were unfortunately unable to feature in the in memoriam segment. She is, however, included in our in memoriam gallery on Oscar.com. Hollywood's hottest couple is putting their wedding on hold, and Magic Mike is to blame. Sounds like Sofia Vergara and Joe Manganiello have to delay their I do's. Page Six reports the couple hope to tie the knot this summer, but Manganiello will be too busy promoting Double XL, the sequel to 2012's Magic Mike. The Modern Family star and her beau got engaged in December after six months of dating. They're now planning to wed later this year. Hey guys, listen, uh, Leslie's gonna walk in and say something that sounds very boring, but is actually a really big deal, so when I get this signal, just everybody cheer like crazy. Here we go. It's time for the final farewell to Parks and Rec. After seven seasons, the beloved comedy will have its one-hour series finale tonight. Catch it only on City. Emma Watson is setting the record straight after reports she's dating Prince Harry. In an apparent denial of the rumor, she wrote on Twitter, World, remember that little talk we had about not believing everything written in the media? She added, also, marrying a prince, not a prerequisite for being a princess. Her tweet follows her passionate campaign for the UN initiative He for She, which she encourages men to stand side by side with women in the promotion of gender equality. The stakes are higher than ever in Insurgent, the upcoming sequel to the blockbuster hit Divergent. It hits theaters March 20th, but advanced tickets go on sale tomorrow. To celebrate, we're giving away an E1 library of films, including the first Divergent DVD. Go to at NCity on Twitter and retweet our contest tweet for your chance to win. And remember, you can always find the latest entertainment headlines on Twitter at NCity.